Hey everyone, welcome back to another Let's Play of an old Elder Scrolls game. Um, I'm gonna be honest, this was actually my first Elder Scrolls game that I ever played. I didn't... I was probably too young <laughs> to appreciate Daggerfall and Arena when they were out. I actually didn't even know they existed until the early 2000s. So yeah. This is what really got me into the series. So, without any further ado, let's get started. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage, and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. What's your name? Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. Quiet. Here comes the car. This is where you get off. Come with me. Okay, so this is the character creation process. First we just have to leave the prison ship. And then we're going to fill out some papers and make up our own background. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and we'll show you to the census office. You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. Hmm, I think I'm going to be same, pretty much the same type of character I was in Daggerfall. Just so you can uh, see how the game mechanics in, in uh, this game have changed. So I'm gonna go with a high elf. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. And magically Follow gain me a up to the height. office, and they'll finish your release. Sorry, I just talked over the guard. Okay, let's talk to this guy and make up my uh, yes, background. Yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. Yeah, so... Like Daggerfall, you can make your own class, or you can do the class generation. In the past two games, you had gave you like a questionnaire, and then it would you would see like flashes of lightning in the sky that would go towards the thief, warrior, and mage constellations. But like this has a fully voiced interview that he does of you. It's pretty neat. Uh, but I'm just going to make a custom class. Adventurer, that's fine. Let's see strength and agility. Oh. Probably agility and speed. Those are both really important. Okay, so I'm gonna be good at blade and marksman like last time. I'm gonna have heavy armor. That's another addition to this game. Um, armor is now a skill, and uh, I'm 
not really a big fan of that change because it rewards you for getting hit. You know, typically when you're fighting someone, you, you try not to get hit. So it doesn't make much sense to me, to be honest. Speechcraft, that's important. And mercantile. Very good. The letter that preceded, you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? And another change is that there are now birth signs that give you certain advantages slash disadvantages. And my favorite one is the lady because it gives you these massive attribute bonuses. But, like, I guess if you wanted to be a mage character, you could go with the apprentice, but that'd make you really weak to Magicka. Or the mage, that would just make you slightly better. But I'm not gonna be, like, a strictly a mage character. I wanna be well rounded, so I'm gonna pick the lady. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Oh wow, 65 endurance. That's good. 40 speed. It's <coughs> good. It's a good thing I picked the speed bonus. Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. Okay, so the Emperor himself ordered me to be released. There's a little trick make some money early in the game. Steal this platter, put it on the ground. Continue through to the next building and get yelled at by the guard. Get up, and he doesn't care. But I, I don't really like to do that. It's not really a big fan of breaking the game. Because, you know, it's the game is easy enough already, you don't need to break it. I'm just gonna steal some shit without them knowing. Just got out of jail and I'm already stealing things. Okay, so play this game, you, you'll you know that um, it tells you when things are locked, but got this thing called the Morrowind Code Patch, and it hides the lock labels and the trap labels, too. And I think that makes more sense, especially with the trap, because um, if something's trapped, you're not gonna, typically not gonna know it's trapped until you fall into it. And so you can hold candlesticks as a torch. That's a really cool feature. Don't know why they didn't keep that. So you can just try to go past this barrel and ignore it. And the game's like, no! Or the barrel. Steal things. Please. Okay, I'm gonna talk to him. So he doesn't know why, but he knows that the Emperor ordered me to be released. And he says that my orders are to go to some guy called Caius Cassades in a town called Balmora. And he gives me directions to it. So now it's also marked on my map. In this game there's not fast travel like there is in the other games. You have to use transportation services like the Silt Strider over here. But I'll get to that in a minute. Let's give the ring to 
this guy. He um, had that ring stolen from him by the uh, census and excise people. And now he's um, going to get me a discount in this place. See, now the um, the merchant has a 100 disposition towards me. And dis disposition is a new thing, too. It's kind of like reputation in Daggerfall, but it's a little bit different because it's um, unique to every person you talk to. Instead of just... Um, faction reputation. There still is faction reputation, but it affects individual disposition. So it's a little bit more complicated. Okay. <coughs> so, let's start with an iron claymore. Well, first I'll sell silverware. bartering. So this game has a bartering minigame where you can name your price. See something you regarding Altman. And if he doesn't like the price you name, he'll like you less and your discounts will be worse. Okay. So this lady up here is a scout. Do you have something to say, Altmer? And she can give me directions to a lot of places and get them all marked on my map. See, it's, um, it's quite possible to travel to other places on foot in real time in this game because the landmass is very, very condensed in comparison to the last two games. Like, see, so here's the whole game map, and that's the landmass added by the expansion. I don't remember how big it is. I think it's like 3 by 3 kilometers. Could be wrong though. So the the NPCs have a lot more personality to them. Like they'll talk to you when they get close. I'm listening. So you have voice dialogue for everyone. But the voice dialogue is only for like the greetings. And when they're telling you that they're going to kill Speak you. Free such. All the other dialogue is text. So, this will just take the Silt Strider to Balmora now. I'm going to put this Caius Cassius guy. They might notice the graphics are better than uh, Morrowind is known for. Well, that's because I have MGE installed. That's Morrowind Graphics Extender. It gives you um, really long view distance. And adds some neat shadow effects like this. See, it's very slowly... The shadow is very slowly shifting because the sun is moving in the sky. So I've got some textures. So it looks a little better now. Why walk and you can run? So all in all, this game is a lot more detailed than Daggerfall and Arena are. But uh, with, uh, with all the features that it added, it also removed a few. Like. Um, there aren't seasons anymore. The weather is completely based on chance. It's not based on what season it is, what time of year. It's just, um, there are probabilities of different kinds of weather for different locations. But you'll never see snow on the island of Vardenfeld. Uh, by the way, th yeah, this is Vardenfell. This is not 
Morrowind proper. This is just one little island surrounded by the landmass, which you can't see here. Let's talk to Caius. And he's letting me into the blades. Blades are the Emperor's agents. So right now he doesn't want to give me any orders. He wants me to just do some training. Then I'm gonna yeah, he wants me to do freelancing with like these different guilds. So the game kind of I like how the game steers you towards the other ancillary quests. Instead of just, you know, See, I'm waiting to restore my fatigue. All right, I'm listening. It's called fatigue now, not stamina. It also affects like every little thing you do. Like, it even affects what kind of prices you get when you're buying and selling. assignment from Caius. So he wants me to talk to a guy at the Fighters Guild. Ask him about the Nerevarine prophecies. speed in this game is not terribly fast, and it's a good way to increase your acrobatics. That's what uh, jumping has been replaced with, it's acrobatics. Okay, so we need 
needs me to do a favor for him. He wants me to go to a Dwemer Ruin. Get him an artifact from there. So, next time, we'll go to the Dwemer Ruin. Until then.